You know, I know I put it in the work all the time. So, you know, it's only a matter of time until I feel, you know, like myself again. What's more important? The fact that the Boston Celtics fell 110-99 to 99 Wednesday night in Atlanta, or is it the fact that Jason Tatum finally broke out of a season-long shooting slump to score a game-high 34 points? I'm going to take the latter. Tatum shot better than 52% from the field against the Hawks for his third best shooting performance of the season. And he says that this effort might just be the one that gets him back on track. Obviously, felt you know a little more like myself than I have. You know, my, my body felt pretty good. And hopefully I can, can, can keep it up. And hopefully it helps to translate to winning. We started off hot tonight, uh, very aggressive overall. So we're not really worried about that. Um, it's just a matter of feeding him and keeping him aggressive when he gets in that in that mode. You know, I know I put it in the work all the time. So, you know, it's only a matter of time until I feel, you know, like myself again. Tatum and the Celtics are heading back to Boston to play host to the LA Lakers Friday night on rivalry night at TD Garden. Now, it sounds like the Lakers, who are just eight and eight on the season, might be getting LeBron James back into the lineup for that game. And Boston might also be made whole, as Jalen Brown and Rob Williams may be back in the lineup for the Celtics. That game will be broadcast on NBC Sports Boston, and it tips off at 7.30 Eastern. Reporting for Celtics.com, I'm Mark D'Amico.